my main goal and desire for the last decade has been to see my kids every day and be a lasting part of their life and influence on their their growth, their health, their morality. And instead, now doing by doing the right things, because back in the past I didn't always do the right thing. I was more of a rebel and more of a... I was... I did more things that were seemingly wrong, which I shouldn't have been doing. But those were years and years and years ago. And now it's coming back to show its face, apparently, because of the people I was with who look at me as that person. And what really is unfortunate is that my kids are, have grown up from being children, and I missed all that. Not because I was trying to. I was trying to be there. But there, I didn't have any cooperation from the moms. And I can't say it's all their fault. But with the visitation and the cooperation, it wasn't my fault. Because I, I offered. I tried. So I can't be mad at myself. And I'm not mad. I'm just personally hurt. Like, that part of me missed my own children's life. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Like, what are you supposed to feel when you see something going wrong and you can't do anything to stop it? And the courthouse and the system that we live in doesn't favor doing the right thing. That's not even the, the point I thought of court was supposed to, you know, uphold the law, you know, justice, you know, doing the right thing. But that's not what it is. Maybe they think so, but they're easily tricked because they don't take the time to get to know the people that they're judging. And it's very unfortunate. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them people had were able to see their father or whatever. And if they weren't, then maybe they're being personal or, you know, coming from a place of their own opinion, which isn't fair on my kids. And secondly, isn't fair on me. First of all, it's the kids because they're going to grow up without a dad because someone did the right thing, and because someone shared their beliefs, I mean, it doesn't make any sense, it's not, that's not right, there is no way in hell that's right, and no way in heaven especially that that's right, you don't take someone's kids away from them for nothing, especially when they're loving and wouldn't harm anybody, and only talk, only, I only speak the truth. I only say the honest truth at all times. I don't lie to anybody. I may have lied before to cover up myself from, you know, going out with other girls when I was dating, but that was also because I didn't believe in settling with one person because you should love all people. But I, I took it farther than that when I was in relationships, but then I had kids and didn't want to lose the kids. And I was always good around the kids. But the exes weren't for me, and we knew that deep down, so that's why things led to the way they happened. But needless to say, those things don't matter anymore. Dwelling in the past doesn't do anything. History repeats itself because we repeat history all the time. Anyway, I just had to get that out.